Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and in this episode, I'd like to talk to you about protected items, Psycho protected items, and how to use them to prevent editors from shooting themselves in the foot, even by accident. So, Psycho provides a way to protect items, and that is important because it overrides all the other allow. Um, security permission so that takes all the right access from the item including moving the item which is very important uh, one of the common gutches with Sitecore is uh, administrator security admins remove all the rights all the right and administra uh, administration rights to the item uh, thinking that users won't be able to move that item however they still can so using item protection is a great way to make sure that content authors really nobody that um, except for the admin uh, users has access to moving the item and here's what I'm talking about here if you've ever clicked on Sitecore root node or root item or any of its children you would have noticed on the content tab a warning message saying you, can, you cannot edit this item because it's protected. Now if you're logged in as an admin you can click on protect the item and that'll make the item available for edits. But all these items are protected for a reason and because they are foundational items. Because if we move those around to a different location we can blow up not only the website but sometimes even the site court too. Uh, mess up the site court client. So it's very important for them to stay where they are and there's really no business in editing these items um, very rarely you have to even venture um, into the standard fields here so let's take a look at how we can prevent an item from being moved so let's say we're building a website a multi-site solution that has some shared content that both websites share so to prevent users from moving that folder into one website and preventing the other users from being able to view it because now the folder is inheriting permissions from the other website, we can protect that. Uh, this also comes in handy if we're statically referencing this path uh, from our code. Hopefully that doesn't happen a lot because we, of course, want to make our content dynamic, but once in a while you still have to do that. So in cases like that, that also comes handy. So to protect the item, navigate to the View tab and make sure that you have the uh, standard fields checkbox checked. Then you can either scroll down to the appearance section or use the bookmark shortcut and jump directly to the read only checkbox. Check that, save, and that's it. Now the item is fully protected. Here's our familiar message. To unprotect the item, you would have to click the unprotect item link because you can't obviously scroll down and uncheck the read only field because all the fields are disabled now, as you will notice after protecting the item. So now let's say a smart author, a clever author decides to move this item somewhere, let's say, or maybe even accidentally that, which happens a lot with uh, laptop mouse pads, they um, move the mouse around and accidentally the, the touchpad registered uh, uh, finger move as a tap, it picks up a folder and then it drags it into a new location. Habitually, a user would click yes to confirm the prompt and boom, all of a sudden the folder is moved and the website is crashing, right? So let's assume something like that happens <laughs> or the author is uh, uh, intentionally trying to move the item. Let's see what the experience would look like for them. So I picked up the item and I try to move it. And here, as you can see, we're now getting an error or a warning. You cannot move a protected item. And it just gives us an okay option. So. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing we can do to change this item unless we have admin rights um, and we cannot protect it. We can't move it. We can't delete it. Uh, look at that. All the deletion, all the manipulation is really disabled. I can't do anything to this item. I can't move it up or down in the content tree, uh, delete it, uh, duplicate it. Let's see. Look at that. Uh, nothing is really allowed. Um, getting an error which is strange um, nothing is allowed no manipulation is allowed on this item so as you can see this is a very handy tool and it can save your users from shooting themselves in the foot so uh, if you like the the tip uh, don't forget to um, 
hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and for more tips like this, uh, check out cmsbestpractices.com. And I'll see you next Friday. Over and out.